Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to create a spreadsheet for our discussion on our lottery winnings. So go to your drive, click New, and select your Google Sheet, create it, and please make sure you do two other things before we get started. Give the spreadsheet a title. We'll say My Lottery Money by, put your name first and last, and the period that you're in. That's the first thing. And the second thing, please make you share it, I'm sure you that you share it so it's public on the web or at least visible to everybody in Ithaca High School. So go ahead and do that right now. Pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so at this point, you have a spreadsheet with a title. You've shared it with the district or made it public. That's even better. Now we're going to enter some headings. Type in the word item. Then type in the word amount. And then we're going to put the word total total spent, I'll say, or <laughs> total amount is even better, total amount spent. And that looks a little bit ugly, so I'm going to click this column and widen it. And then over here, I'm going to type in category and the word percent. And this is going to track my spending. Now, before we get into the details of what you're filling out here, you're going to enter in some other information. So under total amount spent, you can type in the formula to add up everything you're spending. Now, this column right here is going to track all the money you're spending. So over here, if you type in equals on a spreadsheet, that will start it so you can enter a formula. So we're going to do that next. But anyway, pause the video and make sure you have these headings in. Make sure you have item, amount, total amount spent, category, and percent. Okay, so now you have your categories in. Let's enter our first formula. Type the word sum, S-U-M. That means we're adding. And we're adding everything in column B, so you can just do that by clicking on B up here. If you can't click on that, just type B to B using a colon and hit Enter. It's zero right now because we haven't entered anything. But look, once I enter numbers in here, you see how it counts it? So it's going to count anything I put in this category in this column. Now for categories, we want to track what percent we are sh uh, saving, what percent we're sharing, and what percent we're spending. So I'm going to type those words out. I typed my name. Share, save, and spend. So we'll have this spreadsheet calculate those as percent so you can see how you're spending your money. Now over here in items, first type in share. That's how much money you're going to share. You'll put that amount in later. And also type in save. That will come later as well. Now, below that, start to enter in items that you want to buy, right? Things, and you can make your list. Go as far as you want. Don't forget your essentials, things you think are critical, and figure out the amount you're willing to spend on those amounts. What would be really nice is if you pick a house, don't just pick a made-up number, actually go shopping and pick out a house. And there are different ways of doing that. We'll talk about that if you get stuck. But please share the link to the thing you're buying. So for example, let's say I want to buy a house. I go to Zillow or something. And I pick a house. I shop around. I get a link. Let's just enter. We're in Ithaca right now. So let's enter Ithaca's area code. And I'm just going to pick the first house for sale. There it is. Boom. Okay. So I click on it, and this little window will pop up. I'm going to go to Share, and hopefully it'll let me share a link to it. Get shareable link. Now, in the spreadsheet, you see the number for this house was 650,000. So over here, I type 650,000, hit Enter. But then over here, I want to hit Command or Control K, and I can paste in that link by pressing Command or Control V. And now if someone else looks at my spreadsheet, they can see the house that I chose, and that's a valid number. Now I've already spent quite a bit of, of my money, and um, I can also have the spreadsheet track how much is left. So this is my total amount spent. I can also have it track the total amount left. So let me type that in, total you can put this anywhere on the spreadsheet left to spend. If I click C and I widen it, 
um, what I can do is I can type in equals, type in 1 million, that's our winnings, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus, and you can click on it or describe the location of this number, column first, it's C, and then row 2, so C2. And that calculates, I'm going to X this out, that there's $350,000 left to spend. So you might want to pause it and enter that formula. There it is. And this is going to track as we go. Some final touches here. When you enter in your car price, notice, let's say I find a car. Again, post the link to where you found it. It's tracking how much is left. I'll type in a bike for 1000 You should have other categories in here. Think about the essential things you would need. I still have quite a bit of money, right? I still have almost 300000 I'm going to arbitrarily choose 100000 to save. And the rest, 199000 to share. So eventually you should reach this state where there's no money left to spend and you spent all your money. Well, now we want to figure out what percent of our income did we just share, what did we save, and what did we spend. So the formulas for that, there's many ways to do this. I'll type in equals. Let's do share first. Here's the share number. It's in B2, so I can type in B2, or I can just click on the cell. It's tracking the formula up here. Now, as a percent, I want to divide it by all the money I had to spend, $1 million. And let's see what it does. If I hit Enter, you can see I got a decimal here. It's 0.199. Now, you might know that's 19.9%, but let's, let's convert it to a percent by multiplying. So I'm up here in this window right here multiplying by 100. So I'm going to pause right here and ask you to pause the video. Make sure you get that and then hit enter and you should see that percent. And then we do something similar for save and you can retype the formula equals, click on the cell, divide it by a million and then multiply by 100 and then spend. Now spend is going to be all the things you have here. So this is a little bit more complicated. You type in equals sum. Now, I would just click and then kind of scroll down as far as you have things that you spent. Now, I only have three cells. I'm going to select these three. So there's the sum. I'm going to divide that by a million and then multiply by 100. And that's our percents. So these, this is the information you're going to share. Please feel free to pause and rewind the video and check any parts you need to. Thanks.